OK, this is a quick tip that shows you how to line up your directional light with the sun in your skybox. Um, now this is a simple scene, may look right at first glance, but there's a problem with it, which is that there is a picture of the sun on the skybox here. But we've also got a directional light here, which is pointing in a different direction. So the shadows cast by these objects don't line up with the direction of the sun. Um, and there's also further problems, which is that the shine on these shiny objects doesn't appear to come from the sun. These, this is a specular reflection of the directional light. And around the other side, you can see here's the sunlight reflected in the sky, from the skybox. So those two don't match. You can see it more clearly on a more shiny surface, such as this one. So there's the sunlight. That's the actual picture of the sun in the skybox being reflected. And this is the specular highlight of the directional light being reflected from a different direction. So these need to all match up. To do this, you need to select your directional light and focus on it. So I double clicked or hit F. You then need to rotate your scene view so that the center of the directional light matches, it lines up with where the sun is. So it literally falls over the same spot in the scene view. So I'm just rotating the scene view so it lines up like that. You can then, with the, with the directional light still selected, go to Game Object, Align with View. So the directional light is now pointing directly towards the sun. It seems to disappear when you select that. And the reason for that is it's also moved to the same position as the scene view camera. So you can't see it from where the scene view currently is. So if I rotate the scene view, there's my directional light. It's now pointing towards the sun. So what we need to do is rotate it 180 degrees and then we'll have it pointing the right direction. So I'm gonna align it with the sun again, choose rotate, and now I'm gonna hold down the snap button and now I'm rotating in degrees and I've rotated it just a half turn, which is the correct direction for this directional light. Um, and now all the shadows are falling in the correct direction in relation to the sun on the skybox. And also the shines on my shiny objects are correct in relation to the sun's position in the sky. So there's the specular reflection on this very shiny wood and it lines up with where the sun is in the sky.